So far, the Nintendo Switch is shaping up to be one of the most perfect portables of all time. It's got that gorgeous screen, those great Joy-Con, and some really cool AAA titles. But what would make the Switch even more portable? A mini dock. What's up, everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. Jake is here with me, and we've been seeing a number of these pop up around the web. These DIY small travel docks that allow you to bring the biggest component of the Switch with you in a case and take it on the go. I think it's a great idea because then you could connect to a TV at your friend's house without requiring that clunky black brick to be alongside you. Yeah, and I think it's interesting. I mean, I'm not like so uh, encumbered by the dock right now as I have the right. nice backpack that um, can fit everything in. Um, but for people who don't have it or don't want to put everything in a backpack and would rather just put it in their pocket or their purse or something like that, I think that it's, it's something that's not like a huge investment or very complicated um it's just kind of a, a simple downgrade that allows for more access and more options to play which is how the switch is intended to be um and i think I mean, the dock right now i think is a pretty fair size um could it be smaller yes as we have seen these people do so i think it's a interesting concept um that just allows more variety of play style and accessibility um not something that's like necessary or needed but like i said something that you can mod in um to enhance your, your playing yeah it's totally a convenience item in, in no way do i think like the dock is gigantic i mean look it's the, the smallest freaking console out there right now uh but it, it is something that if you are looking to just like you said throw it in a bag or whatever you do have to consider and and i frankly don't bring the dock with me right i bring some joy con i bring the pro right, controller yeah. even cables charger but i feel like this is something that Nintendo could offer as an option, and what people are doing here, um, as you see from these photos, is, is kind of one of two ways. The more common one is just uh, removing the actual dockable portion and making it all a, a cable uh, contraption. So you'll use a USB cable to connect, and you'll use HDMI. Um, there is one dock, though, that I find to be, frankly, my favorite, that actually still uh, retains the dockable aspect of the Switch dock, and I think that one is much more akin to if, if we ever did get like a, an official travel dock, this is more what it would be like. Yeah, and I think that's that's an interesting point as opposed to just like a bunch of cables that you can connect or if you want to have that actual docking feature. And I mean, right. the ones that we see here are reminiscent to me of like um, like iPod docks back in the day um, mm -hmm. where it's basically that same size holding up your, your Switch because your Switch is lightweight enough to, to be held up by a tiny little connection. Um, but yeah, I, I mean... Again, not super necessary, but a, a, a nice uh, addition that people have taken upon themselves to figure out ways to make the Switch optimized to your own play style or lifestyle. Yeah, and, and just to give a shout out, um, the uh, the one that we're referencing that has the actual dockability is from Billy Joe 182 uh, There's another from I'm Not a Shinobi, and then some from Reddit as well. Uh, I think like transforming this into a puck is great for convenience, but I do realize that Nintendo probably felt making it this small would would seem not like a console at all. And I think the reason they did go with a slightly uh, bigger dock and, and one that has more of a presence on an entertainment stand is to ensure that people realize, hey, this is a committed console and not just like some Roku stick that happens to play games as well. I think it was important for them to distinguish and like make sure that at retail, you saw this as a, a home console. Um, plus, a few people mentioned uh, in the comments on, on some of these uh, that the whole, like, docking and undocking of the Switch is, like, a critical part of the, the Switch, like, feature, right? And so, just the cable, like, it's not as satisfying to, like, let me unplug my cable and, and take it with me as opposed to, like, and pulling it right out. Yeah, and I mean... I totally agree with the, the presence on, like, a stand sort of thing. It, it, is, it is, like, the box, like a PS4 or the Xbox that stays in one location and it's sort of like obviously it doesn't have any of the hardware of a system but that is the box that represents the the home console aspect and it does look nice with the little like etching of the switch logo on that gray matte um finished dock piece so again totally agree with you and understand why they did that and um like i said it's interesting to see how people have said no nah, i don't really need that or i want an additional dock that i can take on the go so they wouldn't took it upon themselves to downsize it a bit um to, to fit their own lifestyle absolutely super eager to hear uh just all of the, the the stats and data if we ever get it on how often people play 
on dock versus handhold. But until we get that, let us know what you think about a portable dock. Is it something that you would like? Is it something that would enhance your lifestyle? If you were able to pick one of these up, either from Nintendo uh, or just a DIY uh, 3D printed one on Etsy or something of the sort, would that be of interest to you? Let us know your take on travel docks in the comments down below. Curious to know what you think. In the meantime, though, everybody, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest from the Switch. Us here at Switch Force and any quirky, cool products we may find. Hit that notification bell if you want to be first to know. And for myself and Jake, thanks so much. Switch Force out.